look at another confusion induction. This one is called the ambiguous touch. Now the story goes that psychiatrist Milton Erickson got in trouble for using this. People didn't want to shake his hand. He would shake hands with the person and then as he withdrew his hand, touch their hand in various places and then talk them into a trance. Hi, see that red subscribe button below? Please click on it. It's a neat induction. So someone thank, thank you for coming. Yeah. And, and just notice right there that knuckle. If you just stare at that right there. Just go ahead and breathe in, relaxation. And exhale, tension and worry. That's right. And you can allow your eyes to close. And as they do, put my hand on my shoulder just to steady you and you go even deeper relaxed good and you may notice that hand just remains there in that position and it just feels so natural for that hand to stay there that's right and so natural and so relaxing that's right that's right and in a moment you may notice that hand slowly easily and gently to begin lowering very slowly very carefully and as it does as the arm begins to lower your whole body and mind just relax that much more that's right and any sound you hear or flashes you sense just send you even deeper relax that's right feeling wonderful in every way Good. You're doing great. Okay, now in a moment, I'm going to count from one to three. And when I reach the number three, your eyes open and you feel so relaxed and comfortable. One, two, three. Eyes open. Feeling good, huh? Okay. <laughs> now, I want to do that kind of in slow motion here. And uh, so when we shake, normally, well, I'll show you something. Normally, you shake hands and then and then you break, right? But in this, which... Okay, so in this, what I'm doing is I'm going to, as I withdraw my hand, as my hand goes back, I'm touching on the top of her hand and on the bottom of her hand and on the top of her hand and the bottom of her hand, back and forth, these very light, ambiguous touches. What you do is you shake hands and then I don't let go. As I withdraw my, my hand. Way a natural tendency for people to form this catalepsy here and for the hand just to stay there and then what I do is I just draw their attention draw their attention to that knuckle there and then begin to deepen them down into hypnosis and it's amazing how long that hand will stay there sometimes <laughs> okay <laughs> and 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 DG if you can get a close-up on the hands please so so what I'm doing is I touch underside of her hand with my index or with my middle finger and the top of the hand with my thumb and my ring finger just touches the ins the underside and the thumb again on the top and then maybe my index finger there and when you do that there's a natural tendency for the hand to get this catalepsy and then you can turn that into an induction because they're focused on it you can same thing you can do with the other hand you just you can just have the other hand and once you feel you've got a little bit of tension there that the arm's going to stay then you draw your hand away with just these very very light ambiguous type touches to up down up down up down as you up down up down up down as you pull your hand away very light and it just stays there don't know why it happens but it does <laughs> okay you can put your hand <laughs> is Shawn michael andrews really the world's fastest hypnotist a lot of people think so. Do you want to learn how to do this? Go to worldsfastesthypnotist.com.